Hi everybody, happy Friday! Alright, so I'm gonna do my Friday favorites. Anyway, so I have some really like holy grail favorites. Like, these are epic guys. These are huge things that I've really been loving for over a week worth of time, but I just have the time to talk about it now. So let's get started. So the first things, what do we want to start with? Okay, first thing. Let's talk about some under eye stuff because I feel like I really tweaked my under eye <laughs> routine. We'll show these in action in like a get ready with me here soon. So um, if you're curious about how they apply, how they go on, and what difference they make, then I will show you. So the first thing. So <laughs> the hype got to me and I purchased this as well. This was a $36 investment and I was really hoping I was going to like it because... I who wants to spend $36 and not like it? First of all, if I didn't like it, I'd take it back. But anyways, on my tangent, I've been using this for probably about two weeks straight. Just about two weeks straight. And I really wanted to form a good opinion on this before I told you guys, hey, this $36 item is awesome. Um, so when I first got it, I tried it and I was like, oh man, you know, like I wonder if this is just like an over glorified concealer. Because I wasn't expecting it to be a concealer. Um, it's not a concealer, so don't think it's a concealer. This is from First Aid Beauty, and it's the Eye Duty Triple Remedy. What this is, this is a depuffing, brightening, and smoothing treatment. Those are the only three things it does. It doesn't provide moisture, so if you have really dry under eyes, you do want to put an eye cream on first. So, so how I do this, I wake up in the morning, I wash my face with my doctor's sponge, and I put on my stuff, and I put on some eye cream, and I come back, I keep this in my makeup room, and then I use this. I just dot it on underneath my eyes, and what it does is it instantly brightens and smooths out my under eye area, but what I love the most about it is it really truly depuffs. I have... I have insomnia issues, I work, you know, night shift, I work day shift, I'm just all over the place, so I'm constantly tired, and my under eye area always looks really disgusting. <laughs> it looks really baggy, crepey, um, dark circles and all, so this is like perfect for any of you guys that suffer from dark circles, under eye bags, puffiness, and like just like a discoloration, because it is like a salmon-y, orangey kind of color. I don't want to use a lot of it because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> so that's what it looks like and then it comes with a metal side. So what's cool about this is the product disperses through that tip on the other side and then you turn it around and you just rub it in in a circular motion and it just the coldness <laughs> I'm not even doing it right. The coldness, there it is. <laughs> the coldness of this metal just feels so awesome in the morning. And the design of it just fits perfectly underneath your eye, doesn't tug at your skin, it just it glides and it feels so good, it instantly wakes you up. Oh, I've just had a long day at work, so this feels so nice right now, to be honest. So it's going to brighten up your under eye with that kind of salmon-y color, but it's not really going to conceal, it's not a concealer. It's, it's an eye treatment with a tinge of color that's going to help to combat some of that discoloration. I just feel like this does such a good job at depuffing and really it smooths out my under eyes and it makes them just look a little bit more awake and bright and it works as a really good primer and canvas for my concealer then. So I do love this. Now that I've rambled on for such an obnoxious amount of time about this, I really like it. So um, it's a win for me. So definitely try it out. Like I, Sephora has a great return policy so if you don't like it, just take it back. But for me, I do really like it. And I agree with what other ladies here on YouTube are saying, that it just, it works really nice, and it's really nice and calming and relaxing in the morning. And it just like perks up the little eyeballs and bling, makes you bright eyed. <laughs> it makes you like this, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be an awesome screenshot for you guys. Um, next thing is a concealer. <laughs> this is from LA, where is it from? LA Girl. <laughs> This is super cheap. I think I spent like a dollar on this on some one of those websites like iKate House or something like that. So it was a dollar product. Um, I first bought this and I didn't... I swatched it on my hand and I just immediately dismissed it and just threw it into my makeup stash and never used it. Why? I don't know. I was just... something about it turned me off on my hand. But I've been seeing this on Instagram a lot, and a lot of makeup artists are using this, and somebody referred to this as a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear 
concealer. So that immediately got my attention. I pulled it back out of my stash and I've been trying it and I've been using it underneath my eye. That's what I have on for my under eye concealer. Granted, my makeup has been on since like 5 a.m. this morning and so my makeup has been on for a while. But I feel like it just, it works so well. It has a little bit of a, or it does, it has a little applicator like this. It's like a little brush applicator. And I just kind of swipe it on and then rub it in. It has really good coverage. And it doesn't really crease. Like, I find this to be one of the really nice, long-lasting, very minimal creasing. Like, any concealer. I, th I don't think any concealer is completely 100% crease-proof. Especially if you're like me, if you have fine lines and a little bit of wrinkles and stuff. Which is not so irrelevant anymore now that I'm using my First Aid Beauty Brightener. Um, but this concealer is really nice. This color is in natural, and it does have like a peachy undertone, so it works as well as brightening and concealing and just making the under eye area issues look a ton better. So I love this, and it was a dollar. Like, hello. Yeah, good stuff. Last two makeup beauty favorites for the week. Um, I have a blush, and I have a eyeshadow. Okay, so I just touched up my blush so I could show you um, what I'm talking about. I just realized now it might not go necessarily well with the purple lips, but the blush color is amazing. This is called um, Perk Blush, and it's from Breezia Cosmetics, and it's from her Glamour to Go collection. It's just a mineral blush like this. I bought this because my girl Celia from Homespun Mum, who I love, <laughs> I think I've talked about her a couple times, I see her wear this and you could just see on her face how much she loves it and then I just see this beautiful flush of color that's on her cheeks and I'm like, huh. Celia does have a fairer complexion than me and she kind of reminds me of Snow White. She has that beautiful fair complexion and the dark hair. and but this blush works on any skin tone. I feel like it's such a beautiful, perfect, everyday color. It's kind of like a peachy pink. Okay, let me give you a swatch. It's like a beautiful peachy pink with shimmer in it. It gives you just such a beautiful glow. There's a swatch of it there. It's just, it's so gorgeous. And it's not like too much shimmer or overpowering. It's just that perfect, like, cheeky glow. And I just... I love this. Sabrija so Cosmetics Glamour to Go collection and Perk Blush is amazing and I love it. There it is there. It's on right there. <laughs> so I love this. Alright, another inspired. <laughs> Why am I so serious? Alright, <laughs> alright. <laughs> another inspired purchase. Get it together. I'm like, I'm losing it guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is an eyeshadow from Pumpkin and Poppy. Um, and it's a mineral eyeshadow as well. This is called Archer. This is from her Lord of the Rings collection. Um, and this color is just like a beautiful... Oh, I have it on my eyelids, guys. It's so... It's so perfect. This is like the color I've been looking for. It's a dirty taupe. It's so like an antique dirty taupe. Yeah. That's the best way I'm going to be able to describe it. But this I would see on a good friend of mine, Georgette. NYC Georgette. Um... Every time she wore this in a video, I was instantly drawn to her eyes, and I would go in her description bar and I'd see what she was wearing, and it was always this. It was always Archer from Pumpkin and Poppy, and I just, I had to have it, and so I finally went ahead and made a purchase, and I'm so excited because this shadow gives me life, guys. Do you see this? Um, so it's the perfect dirty antique taupe color I've been looking for and it has such an amazing metallic finish to it as well as sparkles in there. I mean you can't go wrong with metallic and sparkles and taupe. I mean come on now. <laughs> I just I can't even. I like this guys. I worked all day. I'm sorry. I'm I'm goofy. <laughs> but I oh uh, oh <laughs> but this is just such the perfect taupe. I love it so so much. It's just it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and I am so happy to have it in my life and to have it on my eyeballs because I'm quite happy with it, as you guys can tell. It's amazing. All right. So I think that's all for, like, my favorites. I guess the last thing I want to talk about is I've been losing more sleep to a TV show called Scandal. <laughs> 
So my husband had gotten me a TV for Mother's Day because I don't ever watch TV that often and I want to. So we have this big beautiful TV in my bedroom and so I've been just Netflixing and I got started on Scandal and I'm just about at the end of season three. Like how does one watch three seasons in such a short time frame? Um, it's no sleep. <laughs> so I've watched almost three seasons in the last week and a half. And on top of working my crazy, obnoxious amount of hours that I work. Um, but I love it. It's such a good show. If you, like, I don't know. I guess it's just, yeah. It's, the name says it all. Scandal. It's scandalous. It's about our nation. <laughs> um, it's just a really good show. So I would highly suggest you guys checking it out. Warning, you might get sucked in like I did. Um, it's just, it's... I didn't think I would like it because it's not something I typically go for. I'm typically like a vampire <laughs> and supernatural kind of TV show gal. Um, but it's really good, so I really like it. So those are my favorites of the week. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and have lots of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.